Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another video. Today we're playing Boom Beach. And I don't even really know what to call the title of this video. We're just playing around with the game. We've got ourselves some maxed out heavies. And so basically it is a maxed out heavy zooka attack. And we're just going to be playing around just clearing some of our map. So we've got a nice really easy NPC base to start off with which is Hammered. One of my favourite ones to actually um, play to be honest with you guys. And we're just going to be walking through this so easy and it's pretty weird that I'm not using the tank medic strategy, a strategy that I use a lot in this game and it's probably my favourite strategy in the game but we're just playing around with the heavy Zooka. It's just a little change and we're just going to be blasting through this super easy, laying a lot of critters for you guys. I, it's actually really weird me having a lot of energy because I'm used to obviously having to lay the, use the energy to place my tanks. But since we've got so much energy with the heavy Zooka, I'm just placing so much of the stuff. And we're going to really need to watch out because that boom cannon can actually do some damage. So we're onto the base with the heavy Zookas. The Zookas blast the base down. And I think we maybe lost one heavy from that that um, boom cannon there. So that's okay. One heavy is okay for me. And we've actually got some of Dr. T to do. So we'll maybe just start with this. And um, So we start with the heavies in first then the Zookas. Then we just barrage our way around the map, just cleaning everything we can. So easy these stages guys, not much of a problem at all for me. Um, not really much of a problem for any of the really top players, any really strategy you want can really take this base down. I've actually got some maxed, I should really get a maxed out uh, grenader gameplay for you guys. I've got the max, new max grenaders which is pretty good. And I'm just going to see if they compare up to the old grenaders. Now, a lot is uh, grenaders are a pretty hated strategy within the Boom Beach community. And to be honest, I've actually seen some very good gameplay with the grenaders. And some um, operation attacks use them as well. And I think they're probably most valuable on Colonel Gearheart. And um, not for taking the base down. Um, it's just for clearing the base out before you go in for your main attacks. They clear a lot of the stuff out. Depends how the base is designed. Um, yet again, but. But it is still a very good strategy. So we've taken out that boom cannon. Now we're going to just take out them two things at the beach. Then we're going to lay the three boats of heavies, all zookas, one smoke, just in case that mortar decides it wants to fire over. Then we're going to get another smoke here just to cover that from that boom cannon. Then we're going to flare over to the left hand side another smoke just to get them all in there nicely. Then we're going to come back again. Looking good at the moment. We're just going to power through this last bit here. We've got that boom can. We're going to get the mines cleared with the critters. Also distracting the defenses. Then we're going to flare back up to the left hand corner. Another nice smoke to flare them up. And then to a med kit and a flare will finish this base off. And um, this cannon might hit the hit the guys, but it shouldn't really be a problem. I'm just going to shock that anyway. So we're going to definitely blast this base down with maybe a few casualties. So, and the base goes down like that. So that's stage five taken down pretty nicely. I'm going to try stage six and see what happens. As you guys know, this is the hardest Doctor Terror. I think the smallest island ones are harder. Really good, really easy for warrior rushes. Um, but for other strategies, it's actually quite hard because they get bombarded pretty, pretty early game. I'm just going to leave that. Um, Dr. T is not really a big priority for me at the moment. I don't really need the shards too much. And the loot I can get from resource bases anyway. So we're just going to be blasting in with this here. Then a nice little flare over the left hand side. I'm going to get a nice little shock in there to start off with. And then we just probably just barrage everything just to get some of the defenses away for us. I mean that's just so crazy. Get another shock in there. And we're just going to be walking through this base, basically. Nothing's really really going to be able to stop us. Um, we're just going to flare at the top left-hand corner now. Double smoke. Looking at nice. Then you get the two critters just to distract anything that really needs in the way. And this should take the base down. Bang. So when you have max level troops in this game, it's just so easy, guys. And it makes the game, I think it makes the game super fun. So we actually lost just a few casualties, nothing major. So we'll just re-put them troops up and we'll go on to choke and I'm not really sure to say that. Um, right, so we need the rockets. Rockets are a pretty big uh, culprit for taking out the heavy Zooka strategy. And we're going to be going down the right 
here, even though the rockets are all down, we're going down the right, even though the rockets are all down the left, we really need to watch out for that, just get a smoke in there, just in case, oh, that's okay, um, we're going, 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 just working our way through, we're going to get a nice little critter box placement there, probably going to have a nice barrage in there as well, probably going to go in down the flare down to the right now, smoke to protect the Zookas, as much as we can and we're gonna get a med kit just to heal everything back up again we've actually going up for our max med kit at the moment guys so we'll have max medic gameplay as well uh, medic uh, peel pack or whatever um, now we're just going to shock that and we're gonna shock all four rockets as well so that's oh wait we missed that last rock at the back we're on to the base critters are going away for the last distractions one last artillery, and that's the base taken down. Another easy takedown, guys. So let's go on to the next base. <coughs> Bless me, guys. Jesus. Nice little <laughs> sneeze there, guys, for the video. Um. Oh, right. Let's go on the left-hand side here. Not really, you see, this is so new for me, guys, because I'm not really used to using this strategy on this base. And we really need to watch that out, get the smoke on the base. Barrage there, two artilleries on that boom cannon. And we're just working our way up the base quite nicely, actually. Um, we're going to really, is that rocket? I'm not really used to worrying about rockets, smoke. Using the smoke's effectively I'm gonna have to just take that rocket out it's just really annoying guys so that's that rocket taken out yes um, we're gonna have to do another flare shock and we're gonna keep one more shock we're losing quite a bit of troops here just because we're a bit a bit rusty in the game there we go a nice little last shock and we're on to the base with the critters and that's the base taken down another NPC base taken down with the heavy zooka strategy so I'm going to reboost all the troops up and do one last attack on a real player base for you guys with um, just all heavy zooka. So here we go, 56 gems on the base. Let's try a level, a level 53 for you guys. Let's try a 53. So we've got a doom cannon. We're going to take that out straight away. That really damages us. We've got an actual shot blaster here as well, which is pretty annoying. Um, boom, doom cannon going away. Here we go, heavies away. Going down the left hand side, going to take that two shock launchers out, which is pretty much of a big, big pain. Getting ready for the shocks, getting ready. We're going to artillery that first. We're getting ready for critter placement and we're getting ready for the first shock. First shock goes away and we're just pushing up very nicely. Really want to keep these two boom cannons at the at the back shocked as well and that rocket um, we're moving up nicely we're gonna get that shocked now and we're just gonna get that rocket shocked as well and we're gonna get them medic them zookas healed up we're onto the base anyway and that's pretty much going to be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoy the video please subscribe for more boom beach videos and I'll see you guys next time goodbye